Hi, I'm Matt Shadetech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the senior logic instructor for DubSpot and DubSpot Online. In this video, I want to take a look at using Native Instruments Machine with Logic. If you look around on the internet, you'll see that there are a lot of people with different workflows for using it. Some people like to use it as a standalone application. Some people like to use it as a plugin inside of Logic. Both of them have their kind of advantages and trade-offs. I'm gonna show you what I think is a relatively simple workflow using machine as a standalone in this video. And I'm gonna do another video a little later on using it as a plugin inside of Logic. So I've got a little track here that I created with Machine and a couple of instruments in Logic. I'll just play it for you quickly. So we got a couple of parts in Logic and a couple of parts in Machine. Got this little synth with the ES2. Also this 808 boom that I made with the ES2 and that you can, uh, I did a video on that on the DubSpot YouTube channel if you wanna see how to make that sound. This little uh, sort of xylophone thing using sculpture. Um, and, then we've got the machine part. So we've got a kick. Let's see. Clap. Kind of noisy tom. Open hat. And then that stab. Um, there's a closed hat in there somewhere as well. So what I've got here is I've got the machine parts as audio. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to sync logic and machine together while you're writing and then how to get the parts out as audio once you've kind of got a drum pattern together. So let's check it out. The first thing that you want to do is we're going to open up file project settings synchronization. In the synchronization area you're going to go to the MIDI tab and then under MIDI clock we're going to choose transmit MIDI clock check destination one to make it active and then from the menu below we're going to choose machine virtual input now this you need to have the machine standalone application open for this to be available as a choice okay we can close that now we can jump over to machine to the machine standalone software and in here what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the file menu, choose audio and MIDI settings, go over to the MIDI tab, and here under inputs, we're going to make sure that the machine virtual input status is set to on. And I recommend turning off anything else that's available here just so that things don't get mixed up. Then we're going to hit OK. And now, under the file menu again, you'll see there's an option to sync to external MIDI clock. We're going to choose that so that it becomes checked. 
And now if we go over to logic and I'll just move logic down a little bit so we can see machine and start playing. You'll notice that when it starts, you see the BPM going all crazy up here. It kind of takes a little second to catch and run. And what I'm, I'm gonna mute my other drums here for the time being. So what I like to do is to give it a little bar before the actual music starts so it can kind of get up to speed and sync. There we go. Let's see how it matches. You can hear, even with it synced, it's not perfect. And this is kind of true when you're using MIDI, that there is going to be a certain amount of timing issues going on, which is why I wouldn't call this a long-term solution. I would just kind of use this to get your basic idea together and to get some parts written. And then pretty early in the process, I would move the parts out of the machine application into Logic um, using the audio drag and drop functionality. The way that you do that is go over to machine. I'm actually going to turn the sync off just so I can operate a little more easily in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to choose, let's make this bigger so we can see stuff. Here's our pattern as it sounded in machine. And then what we're going to do is hold down the solo button on the hardware, tap the first sound that we want to bring out. And now It's soloed. So hold down solo, tap the pad, and then we'll hear, and you can tap it again to unsolo. Check to make sure it's playing soloed. And then, let me pull this back up a little bit, and click over here on this little, whatever you call that thing, the little four pointed star. And drag, you'll see this little thing pops up, and then just drag that down and drag it right over to Logic, and you can just drop it right onto an audio track. You can actually drop it onto any track. If you can see, I'm just dropping it in the gray area beneath all of my tracks, and that's just going to create a new audio track for me. I'm just going to turn the volume down on this, and I uh, dropped it down on the one. And there's our kick pattern. So to get the next sound, I'll just hold down the solo on the hardware again, touch the pad that I want, and then just drag again and go one by one. Okay, so that works fine, and that's, a, that's actually the method that I prefer. Um, however, there is another method as well. First of all, let me unsolo my Tom, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to File, Export Audio. Now it's worth noting that this only works in the machine standalone software, not in the plugin. I'm gonna choose export audio and then we'll see all of these sounds here that we've got. The region should be set to the loop range that you were working on. In this case, it's here. The output should be on sounds. This way we'll get each of our sounds separately. Now, I unchecked some of these because these were sounds that I didn't use and I didn't want to print all of those empty audio files, which is what it'll do. Uncheck the files that you don't want, or the sounds that you don't want. Select a location. I recommend you send the exported files into the folder for your project. Keep everything in the same folder. I've got it going to this machine one export folder. And then under the options, we have an option to normalize. I recommend that you keep that off. That's just gonna turn everything up to the maximum volume without distorting. And we can do that inside Logic once we get in there if we want to. Loop optimize means if you have any reverb on your sound and it's tailing off, sometimes it'll sound weird if you loop back to the beginning and the reverb has to start again and isn't there. So you could turn that on. I mean, you play around with it, see which works for you. And then the bit depth should definitely be set to 24 bit because we want to maintain the maximum quality while we're working in Logic. Once that's done, you just hit the export button. It's going to do its thing. Since so it's bouncing. And then when it's done, you can just close out of this window. 
There, it's optimizing the loop. Now it says it's done. This won't go away. So when it says it's done, it's done. And then just hit close. And then if we look in the finder, we can see here are all our files exported as nice loops. And then what we can do is just select all, drag those into logic, create new tracks. And there they all are. And there are all our loops. So whichever method you prefer, um, I kind of use the drag and drop one out of habit, but this is also a, a good method. And so that is a pretty simple way to work between logic and machine in standalone mode. If you'd like to learn more about logic, you can check out our 48 class course, which we offer both at our school in Manhattan and in our online school at Dubspot Online. And if you'd like to learn more about me, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com. I uh, hope this was helpful for you, and thanks for watching. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.